Hello everyone. How are you all? It has been one year since the last video. I hope everyone is well out there. So in this video, we will learn about 1. How to add Firestore to the project. 2. How to get data from Firestore. We will learn how to sort and filter data. 3. How to use Firestore real-time queries using stream. And also how to get the data using a sync await. So let's get started. This video is continuation of the last video on how to add Firebase phone auth in Flutter. If you have not watched that video please go ahead and watch it. As always the source code for this project is on GitHub. The link is in the description. So let's get started. Clone the project from GitHub if you haven't already. First add cloud firestore to pubspec.yml file. Then run the command flutter pub git in the terminal. Before we move forward, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Comment if you face any problem and I will answer them all. Navigate to app.dart. You can see that if you are authenticated, you will be redirected to the home page. Open home.dart file. Before I explain more about the code, first, go to the Firebase console. Create a Firestore database if you haven't created one already. Wait for the database to be created. Once created, go to the Rules tab. There you need to add security rules. It is important to add security rules, so make sure you add them. If you don't know about security rules, then please read about it from Firebase Docs. The link is in the description. The rule we are adding states that you are only allowed to access the Firestore database if you are authenticated. Now let's go back to the app.dart file. I will explain all the codes needed to get data from Firestore and aid data to Firestore. I have created a function called gdtemstream. Create a collection ref items ref. Collection ref is simply a reference to the collection in Firestore. Here I have items collection in the Firestore. To get streams of data from the Firestore, we have snapshots method. We simply call item ref snapshots. Listen. We will now listen to any changes in the Firestore in real time. Once we have data, we will set it to the items. You can map through the docs and set it to state. I have created an item model in a separate file called itemmodel.dart. Please open that file. You can create a model file to keep everything in one collection separate. We have a factory method to transform data from a Firestore and set it to an item model. You can see in this model file we have ID, name, description, and more variables. You can create a model file based on your requirements. If there is any error, we catch the error using the owner or method. Set the error to error message variable. Now let's say you don't want to use the real-time feature of the Firestore. You can use the get method with a sync and await. Make sure to use try and catch block to catch errors, if there are any. So in this function we have itemref.get, and we loop through the docs and set data to state. If there is any error, we catch the error using the owner or method. Set the error to error message variable. That's it. Just call the function in init state. Let's say you only want to get items that belong to a particular user. The function in init state. Now let's talk about filtering the data. I know many of you are facing problems with getting data for particular users or with some filter condition. You can use method lick, where user ID is equal to current user ID or your desired user ID. That's it. Just call the function in init state. I hope you all get everything until now. You guys have to download and practice yourself. Let's learn how you can get data in after a certain date. To get the data with your desired filter you can modify the code like this, where created app is greater than your desired date. That's it. Set the data to items and call the function in init state. I know there can be many more ways to do the same things. You can follow whichever way you like. Pause the video, go to the comment section and let me know if you are following until now. If you have any questions, I will be happy to assist you guys. Now it's time to add some data to Firestore. I am adding the data on button click, but you can create a form. Take user input and add it to Firestore. You have to call itemref.addin, then with your desired data in JSON format. 
click the Fab button. You can see that the data is being added to the Firestore. To prove the filter by user ID is working, delete one of the user ID from any document and it will be filtered in the app in real time. Isn't it amazing? Now let's talk about how data is being displayed in the app. First I am checking if there is any error, then show that error. Now, if data is null then show linear circular progress indicator. If data is there then create a list view to display the data. That's all in this video tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. Learn something new today. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for YouTube algorithm to kick in. Thank you.